Hello everyone, today I'm going to present to you a new evolution in storage technology. So here it is, the 60 terabyte solid state drive. In this video, we will take a look at the new record breaking drive from Seagate and then we will have a look at the evolution history of hard drive to put things into perspective. That being said, let's get started. We all know 60 terabytes is about 60,000 gigabytes, but how much storage is that exactly? Well, 60,000 gigabytes can be equivalent of 28 billion single space type written pages or 14,000 DVDs or 5400 full HD movies. So, 60 terabytes it's a lot of space well almost 60 because we technically can use 57.5 terabytes of the total 60 the most amazing thing is that this hard drive is not a hard disk drive but a solid state drive the kind it has no moving parts and a much faster data transfer rate than spinning this drive seagate announced the drive in august 2016 this is on a 3.5 inch and has a read speed of 1.5 gigabytes a second and a write speed of 1 gigabyte a second. That's so fast that it needs minimum 32 gigabytes of RAM and it can transfer a full HD movie in just 10 seconds. By comparison, the largest conventional single unit hard drive made by Seagate and Western Digital currently maxed out at 8 to 10 terabytes. So how they managed to do it? Well, this unprecedented 60 terabyte of storage on a single solid state drive is enabled by Micron technology. The company has managed to cramp off the solution offline of this into a single guy using 3D VNAD technology. The simplest way to describe 3D VNAD is to imagine everything turned on the side so instead of having just one layer of memory cells and single plane you can now have dozen of cells all standing up next to each other the v layers name refer to the psychical nature of their cells seagate claims that 3d net chip technology is more reliable than its predecessor while performing faster and more efficiently using only 50 watts of power they are saying that all 60 terabytes of usable data can be rewritten daily without failure. Seagate has announced that this drive is purely for the enterprise market and that's bad news for the PC enthusiast. So we can expect this technology to trickle down into consumer drives in the future. There is no pricing yet available, but rest assured it's going to cost a fair bit, but at least the technology now exists. Further to this, with time, once expensive storage methods usually come down to affordable price. So within 5 years, we could see this kind of storage at the price point say of 500 bucks, if recent history is an indication. Speaking of history, for a wider context, let's see where we have come from in terms of storage. Check out this IBM 305 hard drive from 1956. 305 were composed from 250 24 inch discs stuck together, taking up 16 square feet of real estate. It weighed about 1 ton and it cost about $160,000 and stored only 5 megabytes of data. As Aston Road on storage capacity managed to increase and by 1979. 350 megabytes hard drive came to life. As the AD Road announced, the hard disk drive format found the great synergy with a personal computer. Here is a 10 megabytes hard drive from 1981. That price you are looking at is over $8,000 adjusted from inflation. Since then, we have started to use 3.5 inch hard drive form factor up until now but not the same technology interface, of course. And finally, we can say that it took half a century 
to get to 1 terabyte of hard disk storage which has achieved in 2007 and just 2 years later in 2009 we have the first 2 terabyte drive. From last year up until now we can say that the highest single unit storage capacity which was achieved by Samsung in 2015 with its 16 terabyte solid state drive has increased by 4 times now by Seagate if we accept the fact that Samsung has a solid state drive in 2.5 inch and not a 3.5 inch form factor. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoy it. Hit the like button if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.